avoidance absolutely love long distance relationships. This is something that I've touched on before and it's worth touching on again. If you are in a long distance relationship and the chemistry and the connection is off the charts, you think you found your twin flame, you might want to look and look for signs that this person might be an avoidant. Avoidants feel safe in long distance relationships. They have a need for connection just like anybody else. It's in human nature. They long for love and they long for connection. But the long distance relationship satisfies that need. They get to see their partner once or twice a month, maybe even less than that, and it satisfies that need for connection. But it keeps the partner at a distance. They get to keep the partner at an emotional arm's length. They don't have to get too emotionally intimate since this person is not around locally and they don't have to give up too much of their time and energy to somebody who simply isn't around in the area. The relationship can progress wonderfully until it's time for one of the two partners to relocate. Right before it's moving day, the avoidant might shut down, get cold, deactivate and completely ghost or completely discard the partner. Or even worse, when one partner relocates, usually the non-avoidant, they get to their new location, they get to the new state, city, or country, and then the avoidant goes cold. You've already relocated a very long distance, you've uprooted your life, and all of a sudden the person is distant. Then they're telling you they can't give you what you need. They're just not ready for a relationship right now. They've lost feelings for you. They love you, but they're not in love with you. And you deserve somebody who can love you the way you deserve to be loved. And that's it. It's over, out of absolutely nowhere. Well, this happens because the relationship suddenly got real. It's no longer just a long distance fantasy. It's no longer just the validation from a distance. It is now a real authentic relationship with a partner that lives close by or even possibly with the avoidant. This scares them because when the relationship gets real, there's an unspoken pressure that they have to be emotionally available and emotionally vulnerable for this person. That frightens them. As a child, they learned that emotional intimacy leads to abandonment. Anybody you rely on for your emotional needs is going to ultimately reject and they're going to abandon you. And you're gonna lose your independence to this person too. You're gonna to lose your ability to take care of yourself and then they're gonna abandon you and reject you. They're gonna figure out that they're too good for you and they're going to find out you're unlovable and they're going to reject you. So the avoidant feels it's safer to do the abandoning than to risk being abandoned themselves. And it'll feel like you're dealing with an entirely different person because they've taken their emotions, they've taken their feelings for you and they've suppressed them, they've buried them, they've put them in a place where even they can't access them. So they're completely detached from their emotions when they're doing the discard. That's why they seem like an entirely different person. And since they're not allowing themselves to process the emotions, they can lack empathy. They can go completely cold on you and leave you completely shattered and heartbroken after you have relocated halfway across the world for them. So. Look for those signs. If you're in a long distance relationship, look for com consistent communication. Is your partner hot and cold? Do they often talk about how fiercely independent they are? Do they talk about any emotional walls that they have up? Did they love bomb you? Was it too much, too quickly, too soon in the beginning? Look for these little signs of emotional unavailability because it's better to figure it out before you relocate halfway across the world and then get discarded when you've uprooted your life and you live in an entirely new place. It's not that long distance relationships can't work out. It's not that everybody that's in one is an avoidant, but avoidance do gravitate towards them and your odds of meeting an avoidant in a long distance relationship are astronomically high.